Hello, and welcome back to the airport, where we're trying to hang on financially. Oh, hello. What this? We have new airlines now. Oh, goodness. Okay, look. So. Uh, I hate doing this, because I want to, to, to level up these guys and get to the next level. And it's so, so right now, we're 8 out of 8, 10 out of 10. But like with these new airlines, am I supposed to grow? Am I supposed to, um, geez, am I supposed to, to sign everybody and just not do on demand anymore? Okay. So let's look if we, if we work it right, there's four time slots a day. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13. So 13 and four. That's 12. That's four. That's 56. 13 and four. 56. One, two. Five, eight, not, not anywhere near 56. We can sign all these people. We can sign all of them. I think, I think we should do it. I think we should sign every airline and we should service every airline, every flight from every airline. I don't think, I don't know if that's the, the best idea in the world though. Let's try it. Let's go out in a blaze of glory. All right, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the... We should be able to name our airport. So I can be like, welcome to the Landy Land, Landy Land, <laughs> Landy Land Airport. Here we're, we're here to service all your Landy Land needs. You need to land? We got you covered. Oh, that's right. That that time slot is too full. So it's got to be staggered. There's four on that one. Okay, let's go back to this. Find some more people. So three out of three, two out of three. Hold on. If, is it two out of three because I haven't put it on the schedule? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's not only just like, hey, buddy... Like you, you, you said, like, I got to put you on the schedule before it to be like official. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did that? Did you get kicked back? Yeah, you're fine. Don't, don't kick back on me. Makes me nervous for a second. Okay. We're back here. And then we probably have somebody. Yep. That's opened. Like this one here too. We don't need to forget about that. So three out of three, three out of three, seven out of seven. And then this one's only two. There's only two here. Okay, so he needs to go in the morning. Can you go? Nope. Can you? Yep, you can go in the evening. You can go in the morning. And then... It would be really cool if we don't have to open up another uh, deal. And this one right here ought to be able to do it. Okay. Now that one says we'll arrive the following day. Okay, there we go. So we have more of the airport now moved over to scheduled flights. And we don't be, I mean, we're about half and half now with scheduled flights versus on-demand flights. Uh, three out of three, seven out of seven, eight out of eight, 10 out of 10. Why, <clears throat> why are you still saying there's stuff for me? Oh, next tier. Oh, poo poo. Okay. So we sign the next tier. Okay. Hold on. That opened up two more flights. That opened up four more flights and that opened up two more flights. Okay. So now we sign those two. And then now we come in here and sign these guys. Okay. And then we gotta go, we're going to open up another runway or, or ramp 
Eleven is now part of the scheduled flight crew. Ten now is part of the scheduled flight crew. Go back over here to this one, assign that. Then here, let's pick up those two. Okay. And let's put them on the board. Beautiful. <clears throat> Beautiful. That is awesome. That is a lot of airplanes, but they are specifically designed to arrive at a certain time. That's fantastic. So no tier two. We're servicing everybody we have to service. We have more than enough ramps. <laughs> Man, we are going to have to order a lot of supplies. We got $10,000 and we're not opened yet. Maybe. We have $10,000 and we're not open yet. Are you the level two? You are not. You're still the level one. We're going to back out. We're going to upgrade you. I'm going to put you right there. Crap, I hope that wasn't. No, it wouldn't have let me upgrade it if it wasn't. Okay, so that one's level two. Now it's got two places. Are you the level two cargo? You are already the level two cargo. Cool. And then... Over here, you're the level two fuel truck. Are you the level two cargo? One of you can't be the level, level, like one of you says air cargo and then the other one doesn't say anything. Oh, he's leaving. That's why you can't do it while they're active. He's, he's like leaving. You'd have to, I'd have to catch him when everyone is, what if I got rid of you? Then I did this. You need to stop the building before I'm ready to go, or you have not researched it yet. I have researched it. I have researched it. If physically I can see the second one right there. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all of those. I still can't do it. I still cannot upgrade this. That doesn't make any sense to me. I can see the upgraded one. It's right there. That stupid guy right here. He's, he's screwing this up. Man, I really kind of wish I'd have noticed the, that right there before we started. Because I do not want to... I'll bulldoze it and I'll build it again. That's not the best thing in the world. But here we go. This building is stopping. What? This building is stopping. Is stopping. Wait until its workers are done. Yeah, well, its workers are going to screw me over, so... Thanks for nothing. I'll put you at the end over here. That tarmac road? Yeah. Click onto the road. There it goes. Okay, and then we're going to say that you service all of those. And that you will have two of the bigger cars. Perfect. And we're probably going to have to upgrade that a lot. Okay, now it will not. It will not because that guy's just on the road. That's fine. So you're upgraded, you're servicing all those, you're upgraded, servicing all those. You only have two cars. Yep, and let's go ahead and just buy two more. And then you, I, I bet it's dirt cheap. Not really. Okay. Now I really want to put money into this next. Are there better vehicles? There are not. Uh, yeah, there's a better vehicle for this. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But there's not a better vehicle for this. But there is one here. They cost $600 a pop. Okay. Okay. Man, that, that ate through our $10,000. But I think we're going to get a lot of it back when this thing finally shuts down. And uh, 
isn't a jerk anymore. When this guy realizes that he can't go to his job because he doesn't have a place to return to, or he unloads, or he does whatever he's going to do. Look at that. Look at our on-demand. Our on-demand is down to nothing. So good. We're going to make some money today. We're going to make some money today. All right. Now he's, he's back in there. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. What are you doing? Unloading? Yeah, I guess unload. And is it because I've stopped the building? Alright, there we go. Building is open. Can you unload now? Come on now, unload. There it is. Three, two, one, and zero, and zero, and then he's going to disappear, and then finally we're going to go ahead and bulldoze it. Confirm. Goodbye. All right. Then tonight we'll slide this back over here where it ought to go. Yeah, I know cargo storage is up, but I don't have a lot of money right now. How's my loan looking? Uh, only $7,000 to pay off. Not that bad. Get some more of these things coming in. Uh, $400. I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'm bringing, I'll bring in 40 more. I just have so much room now that, and I, I know that we have been servicing a lot of aircraft, but today we'll be servicing aircraft and we'll be meeting our obligation for these uh, contract airlines. And then picking up whatever the slide. There we go. We're finally full. Finally. After so much time, we are finally full. Everybody has work to do. Oh, looks so good. And now we can kind of ignore these things. Like, it's not that big a deal for us just to not make these a priority anymore. Not having to click, 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 click. I mean, sure, if I see a, a blue or green square open up, I'll, I'll accept it. But it's just not the most important thing on the docket right this moment. Ah, uh, look at that. You got lucky we had space open up. Fuel is low. We're down to 2,000 fuel. We need to unlock the new contracts for fuel. Like, we need the more... The one that's not going to be, like, financially ruinous every time we, we buy oil. Contract negotiation. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing contract negotiation. So nice. Oh, look at all those planes. Look at all of them leaving. They all got serviced. That is such a good thing to see. That first block is done and over with. We only have three more blocks left to go in the uh, in the uh, the rotation. So good. So good. And if we have if we have a lot of money left over tonight when we shut this place down, we're going to buy another uh, runway and then we'll have um, We'll probably have a, a junket that comes off this way and another runway that, that leaves out this way so they can depart, you know, there'll be two departure uh, lanes for whatever they think is faster. Oh, it's so good. So good seeing all those things leave at the same time and not a single one was like, you didn't meet your contract obligations. Also seeing these the cars out there like waiting. It's also good. All right. Bye bye. Hello, hello. And I think we're good. I think we're good. good. I think the luggage is okay. I think the boarding of passengers is okay. It would be nice. It would be nice if there were like little indicator lights 
at every single ramp and the indicator light would be completely dark if if the airplane doesn't need that whatsoever and it would be gray if the airplane needs it and if it would be like yellow if it was in the process of 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 um like fueling or in the process of boarding or deboarding or maintenance and then it would be green if they're done that way i could sit here and go okay well that guy needs his boarding and luggage this person needs cargo loaded this person is done with everything that they need so they're ready to go this person needs cargo loaded that person is done that person is done that person needs luggage and boarding so i, I would just kind of know that person is done and that person is is luggage and boarding and i would know like who who I need to spend, like where I need to spend the money at. Like if all of those had said loading cargo, I'd be like, well, it's time. <laughs> it's time to make that a priority. And if all of them had said boarding, uh, yeah, nine o'clock. Ooh, nine o'clock's already coming on. 12 o'clock is our next one. So if we can hold out for just 30 minutes here, then, uh, oh, nice. Okay, contract negotiation. Um, let's go to airplane services. Uh, we're kind of getting there. We're kind of getting close to where we need to, to, to pick it up. This one, we're nowhere near needing. That one, when we all already got done. Um, but the stuff like this is really good. It is a permanent boost forever. So that's always nice to see. Tarmac discounts. You know what? Now that we have our new, our new people, let's go ahead and research the discount and then the ramp. And then we'll, we'll try to, to maneuver this stuff out of the, the grass. <laughs> the grass and mud and put like a tarmac uh, deal on it. We'll try to upgrade them. And I'll show you how, when you upgrade them, you do it just like this. You, you turn them off, you upgrade them. Sometimes they get a little bit bigger. So this, this footprint might be a little bigger. It would be nice if they always stayed this size, but of course the airplanes that you're servicing are going to get bigger. So, and some airplanes won't land on this, right? Like some airplanes will just be like, we cannot roll on dirt. We'll sink into the mud and it'll be the end of us. So, Oh, I love that. Every single one of those, we've contractually met that obligation. So good to see. And then you jokers here, you might be just a little bit behind. Um, nope, no one's going out there to do anything with them. I think they're good. I think they're good. Yep, all four of them just blew away. So nice, so nice. To see the airport this is what we wanted this is what we want this, this is what this is what makes my old my old brain excited and happy this is the this is the dopamine it would be really cool if you hovered over this if it would tell you what a base operation was and what a current operations current air capacity is 20. i wonder if i build another one of these if i can have more planes I bet you can't because that just seems like well, why would we? Why would we? we? We don't even have... We're not even full up right now. And we are meeting... There are no new airlines to sign. 3, 5... 3 out of 3, 5 out of 5, 11 out of 11, 4 out of 4, 8 out of 8, 10 out of 10. So we're... We're doing it. Man, this is what I... We needed this. We needed this. We needed the money coming in. The money was becoming a problem. All right, we are running out of packages a little bit. Let's do the noon. Yep, let's renegotiate this one. The noon. Hold on, is it already? It's only 50. All right, so let's do noon. Let's do the 100 volume. We'll sign that. We'll come up here to this one and we'll say goodbye. That way we have, we're getting more coming in. That one in the morning probably should be 100. And then this one at night is 100. But we are kind of running out. So let me just do one more. Do 40. I worked at a movie theater when I was a little kid. Um, my very first job, very first job was at Office Max. Believe it or not, I sold computers to people. Like that was my, that was like the reason I was there. Like the reason a 15 year old kid was hired at Office Max was was literally just because I knew what computers were and I knew how they operated and I and I could tell people. And every single guy that came in there, every single like older gentleman, he already had a computer that he was happy with and didn't need a computer. It was always printers. 
always printers. And, 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 and there were two categories of dudes that would come in. Like one dude owned a business and he wanted a, a, a printer that could keep up with his business because he had so many invoices that he had to like print out. And there were so many like contracts and stuff. And you, you probably don't remember, or maybe you do, but there was this, there were two printers. Like they, they had the, uh, I never sold a dot, um, the, the paper, the computer paper that had the two, the two, uh, perforated, um, sides that had these little a dot matrix printer i think is what they were called but they had like two holes in the side and there were these physical wheels that would turn and those physical wheels would physically move up the page and all the pages were connected they were all connected together if you wanted an individual piece of paper you had to you had to rip the the, the perforated edge um, i never sold any of those but the printers that came after that were these printers that had the eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper that you stuck in the top of them right and those, you know, like it would, like they would slide, they would use gravity and they would slide down. But there was another type that came out that had these gigantic paper feeders on the bottom. And you could take an entire 500 ream of paper and put it in that printer on the bottom and it would suck it up and it would spit it out the top, right? So those were the two. And, and it, it just like every single time those, those guys would come in and the dude was like, I run a landscaping business or I run a uh granite countertop business every single time i'd be like you probably want to buy the one with a gigantic fat bottom that you can put 500 sheets of paper in at one time and you and you just won't run out of paper for a long time and the ink cartridges are pretty robust and then every time the old granddad would come in he was like i'm tired of getting my film developed and it cost me an arm and a leg i'd be like you want the one that and comes down from the top like those print number one those print in color like the other ones didn't print in color they they were just black and white and every now and then we get a guy in there who's like do you have some that, that do carbon copy i need i need carbon copy paper I need one that i can hey why do we have more airplanes than we're allowed to have we only have 20 ramps Oh, some of them are still on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some are still on the ground. I wonder if that's what the ATC is is talking about. No, it says base operations and current. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't understand. Max plane. Oh, it is my problem. It is my problem. These guys not having a, 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 a way to get out is my problem because I can't. I can't turn on the next. This is what I don't like about this map. Like it is very difficult to find. You have to buy land. That's ten thousand dollars just to buy that chunk. What about that? That's ten thousand. It's one hundred and fifty thousand. You wish. All right. Well, give me give me ten thousand dollars then. It is my problem. It is my problem. I need to get these guys out of here faster. Poo poo. What time is it? It's going into the evening. I wanted to have a ton of money to upgrade to the tarmac. Well, I need to do the research first. I need to do the research first. Yeah. Give me, um, give me another runway so I can get these jokers out of my hair. Anywho, that was my first job was office max selling, selling, uh, selling, uh, uh, printers. That, that's all I did. That's all I did. And then like, ooh, 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 there's 10,000. And I guess I want what? I think for us, it's going to be that. There we go. And then the, the runway is only like, it's only a couple of thousand dollars. So if I can just get $2,000 or so. Come on now. It's only like $1,500 for that. That runway. Come on. My second job was at the movie theaters. I got a job. Uh, my 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 best friend at the time. Uh, not best friend. Uh, yeah, okay, best friend. Best friend at the time. He uh, he got a job there first, and um, he got he got promoted to projectionist uh, because he had half a brain. 
And the the guy who was running the place was like, man, you, you, you're such a great projectionist. You don't know how hard it is to be a projectionist. And my friend was like, dude, this is like the easiest thing in the world. Like, it's not that difficult. And the guy who ran the place was like, well, if you know anyone else, LOL, let me know. And my friend was like, yeah, I got a friend who can, who can do this. And the reason why projectionist was so, quote, quote, difficult. Make that departure only. Then, oh, I need one of those. Yep. Okay. So we're back to waiting. Um, I don't know if it was, if it was because it was difficult, but all the projectionists typically were supposed to be in a projectionist union because the film at one point in time, the film was insanely dangerous to handle because it was very flammable and the bulbs changing out the bulbs had to be done often. And they too were very dangerous. So I think it wasn't like. He was trying to tell us that we were so smart. I think he was like, these 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 15 year old, 16 year old kids don't know what a union is. <laughs> They're not going to join it, so I'm not. I don't have to pay them union dues, right? Uh, but anyway, I got I got a job. That was my second job working at the theaters. And before I was a projectionist, I worked. Uh, well, while I was, I guess I was training as a projectionist, but I worked projectionist every now and then. Oh no. I, are we almost? Yeah, it's almost closing time. Mm. All right, we're we're, we're going to be better tomorrow because we're going to have we're going to have that 100 packages coming in instead of just 50. But anyway, he um lost my train of thought. Oh, I guess yeah. While I was training, I had to work downstairs uh, doing the popcorn stuff. And do I want that. Oh, I don't want that. I want that moved over. I want that whole thing moved over a little bit. Okay. Stand by here. Turn off. And yeah, 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 yeah. Just just be somewhere for a second. It, it, I can't put it there, obviously, because it's gonna it's gonna interfere with me. There. Okay. Turn that off. It has to be moved over. Let's put it on that line. Let's see if that's how she goes. Turn it back on. Go up here and grab that. Move it. Wrong location. Why? Why don't you click in where you're supposed to click in at? You're supposed to click in at that little nodule right there, bud. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> I don't understand like why that was like that wouldn't. That wouldn't work. Like, why wouldn't... Why can't I click into that little deal? Was it because it was too close to the other one? See, now I can do it. But now I don't think that thing is going to line up with the taxiway like I want it. Yeah, it's going to be off a little bit. I don't want that. I want it to be perfect. I'm going to have to move that back. A little bit if I want it to be perfect because this right here I lined up that with that little with that that deal right there and then this won't click in because it's too close I can line it up like that on this one but then he won't click in because it's too close to this one. Oh, it did okay all right Oh, poo. Oh, it's off just a little bit, but that's okay. All right. You're on, and you can go, and you're on, and you can go, and your departures only, and your departures only. Perfect. Okay. Now, that should help get some of these planes out of here faster. <sighs> so, as I was working downstairs, uh, training to be a projectionist, and, and then, like, learning how to, to pop popcorn and stuff... Uh, I noticed that when he would receive the shipments for popcorn and everything, that it came with an invoice, right? Like, like I mean, and he would buy like, you know, 50 bags of 50 pounds of popcorn seed at a time. It was a movie theater. He, we went through a lot of it. And one time I got the the invoice and I thought it was a neat invoice because it was just for popcorn, right? Like we didn't order candy that time. We didn't order popping oil that time. Like it was an invoice just for popcorn. Um, and... I did the math real quick just because I saw how much, like I saw how many bags we got and then I saw how much it cost. 
guess how much back in when I was when I was I mean this is what 2000 yeah this is this would, this would be like 1998 1997 guess how much a 50 pound bag of movie theater popcorn popcorn seed cost I'll let you pause the video <laughs> Seven dollars. Seven dollars for the fifty pound bag of popcorn. Seven dollars. He was paying or he was charging the customers seven dollars for the um the the popcorn deal. The large popcorn, the large soda pop. Uh he was charging seven dollars for that deal by itself. So just imagine that. Just imagine having an industry or running a business where you would buy 50 pounds of something for $7 and then the first little scoop pop 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 little bag you already made your you already made your money back for that whole bag everything after that was profit just think about that let your let your brain marinate on that profit margin for just a little bit because that guy made a friggin killing now in his defense um, it was a monopoly. <laughs> there was no other, uh, movie theater in town. So he didn't really have to, uh, he didn't have to negotiate his prices with somebody else. Right. So, you know, I mean, he, he, he did open the theater in a town that had nothing to do. Um, but also, uh, later on I met the guy who, um, did you have to rent the movies? Right. And you have to have a, you have to have a guy who knows a guy who can rent the movies for you because, um, I mean, the, the, the industry doesn't just like, you can't, you can't just call up a distributor and be like, Hey, I'd like to rent the Avengers. They'd be like, who are you? Who do you know? Like, like, and then, and, and then if you, if you're, if you're like, I got money, it doesn't matter who I am or who I know I have money and I have a license and I want you to do it. You shut up and give it to me. All they have to do is go, Oh man, we are, we are one print short. I am so sorry. We are completely out. Have a great day. You know, uh, we can give it to you after the really big wave, like after the, everyone's made their killing on it. We'll, we'll give you a print then. And that's kind of what the 99 cent theaters were, right? The 99 cent theaters, they showed movies that were well past their like heyday as far as money went, but they didn't have to, you, you didn't, they didn't, they didn't charge you a lot to rent them because you had to rent them. You had to, um, I thought we unlocked the contracts. I did. I, I researched. I thought we researched these contracts. Contract negotiation. Oh, we fuel contract. Dummy. Okay, well, there's that. Um go ahead and just grab that fuel. I know it's the end of the day, but might as well have it for tomorrow so we don't have to worry about paying for it when we wake up in the morning. But anywho, um, yeah, it got me. It got me to killing. And the 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 prints to rent the prints. They you know they were they were very very expensive to rent. I don't even want to speculate. I don't even want to speculate. I the the guy who rented the movies, like he came in one day a week. He made the schedule. He called and he made sure that the the prints were coming. And that's it. He didn't he didn't handle the billing. He didn't handle the pay. He literally just knew people in the industry and he could call someone at a distributor, like a special super secret phone number. He had an office, like he had an office that was used once a week for maybe five hours. And then that was it. If he came into the office, are we at nighttime? We are at nighttime. There we go. We got one more right there. We want fuel. He's good. Hey, look at that. We, we had our first, we had our first, uh, why didn't you go down here? So you could just, you were clear to depart. Why? Why would you go up there and wait? Okay. We only have, we only have five of those. We're going to need, we're going to need more. Um, this 80 in the morning, let's go ahead and say no to that. And in the morning, Let's order 100 in the morning. There we go. And that should come. That should come tomorrow morning. Like that should not be a problem. Do 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That should be that should not be a problem. All right, uh, we have seven thousand dollars. I do want to go ahead and turn you off and relocate you. You're supposed to be up here. Are you not going to click in? I hate that. Just click in, click in. I hate that. I dislike very much that that has now moved over there. But what are you going to do? Nothing. So you're good. Everybody is good. Um, we don't really need to upgrade anything because we went through the entire day and we weren't, we weren't penalized for anything. Um, we're doing great. So let's go and upgrade one of these to the new tarmac. So we switch this off. We, you need to stop the, I did stop the building. Oh, we don't, we haven't, we have re researched the tarmac. Haven't we? Or have I just, what did I research? I have not researched it yet. Okay. All right. Well, we're just going to put the $7,000 in the bank. We're going to put the $7,000 in the bank. Call it a day. Maybe just because I need to spend money, I guess. Oh, there we go. There we go. We'll spend money getting more research points. 78,000. Look at that. We finally made more money than we spent that day. Where are we at? 36. Oh, I'm probably going to have to stop here in about 14 minutes. We won't get through the entire day, but whatever. All right. So we got this coming at 6 a.m. So it's going to be here before the day starts instead of two hours after the day starts, which does make a difference. Our loan, we owe $5,000 on our loan. So we'll probably pay off our loan today. There we go. 105 packages. Probably going to be scheduling. Uh, what is that? Six, seven, eight. That's three hours and eight, nine, 10, 11. That's four hours. So probably at nine, we probably do need to schedule something. Let's go ahead and just do that. I don't think it'll come today. Yeah. See how it says we'll, we'll be executed on the next, on the next day. But it, I think we're going to need to have that nine o'clock bump where we get another hundred, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we won't, but I, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we, we are because going from six to noon, that's going to be, that's going to be too much. I really love how they, they, they pre like they drive out there just to be on station. I love that. I love the idea of getting away from on-demand flights. Like that is so super cool. And having this, having this where like the big planes just get off the runway immediately and that the little air, like the little ones can get off like sooner. That does that. That means that the the recovery runway, the recovery runway can just go right. Like it does, it's never going to be backed up. So good, so good. I mean, just think about all the all the planes that are trying to land right now. What are you saying, cargo? Yeah, what time is it? It's about nine o'clock. Yeah, so we should probably get another one hundred at around nine o'clock, and that'll that'll come tomorrow. $1,400 for cargo. Yikes. That's when you know it's weird when you're paying $1,400 for cargo. Fuel. We probably need to get a nice big old chunk of fuel too. I know. Cargo was low. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the fuel. I don't. I don't want to have that that open. We're only gonna, we're only gonna be a thousand dollars in the in short. So yeah, but the movie theater was an interesting time. When you when you get a, a film in right, so when you get a film 
uh, from the distributor. It comes in a gigantic can, usually two, maybe sometimes three cans, right? So the first thing that happens is on Wednesday night, the dude rolls up at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night with the cans and he unloads the cans. And then you have to make sure that all the movies that you ordered, you have the cans for all the movies that you ordered. So if you ordered, um, um, uh, the Avengers movie, right? Uh, you had to check and it would be like Avengers one, Avengers two, Avengers three, Avengers four, because you had four prints, right? And they would say like one and then like underneath it, it would be like one of four. So there would be four cans. So you had to find Avengers 1, 1 of 4, 2 of 4, 3 of 4, 4 of 4. That was the first Avengers movie that you had ordered. And you had to do it all for them. You had to double check and make sure they were all there. Then you took them all upstairs. And then you opened the can. And inside would be 3 or 4 reels. So you take the reel out for Avengers 1 of box 1 of reel 1. And you had to figure out whether it was heads or tails. You had to figure out whether it was head. Do I want to do that right now or do I want to do these contracts for fuel? They're about the same. I guess I'll do... I really want to save money. Let me do that right now. You had to figure out if it was heads or tails. If it was heads... Oh no. Are we already out? When's our next shipment? It's coming up in, in less than an hour. Okay, we'll let it ride. If it was heads, that meant that um, if you were to were to pull out the film and look at it, you would see the very beginning of the movie. You would see like Hawkeye, I think, was the beginning of that movie. You would see him like in the field, right? If it was tails, you would see the end of the first reel, which could be like... Um, 10 or 20, 30 minutes into the, to the film. So what was happening 30 minutes in that film? Okay. So, um, uh, the Hulk crashing into the Dr. Strange's house, right? Like you would see that. And if you saw that, you would know, Oh, this is tails. So you'd have to, you'd have to rewind it to get the heads first. And then you would take that head that you rewound and you'd put it on the platter. And the platter was this gigantic circle that you would feed every single reel onto. Uh, but the reels had to go head to tail, head to tail, head to tail. So if you opened up a reel and you didn't check it and that that reel was head and you, you put head, or if you opened it and it was tail and you put tail to tail, then the movie would be reversed, right? Like you would see, you would see, instead of Hawkeye, you would see the Hulk doing his thing and then it would automatically jump to where Hawkeye was, and then it would go <laughs> to where uh, it, it would just, you know, it would be backwards. Yeah. And then you had to build the movie. And then you had to, and then to attach those, the heads and tails together, you had to splice them correctly. If you didn't splice them correctly, um, it would cause a frame jump. We just, we just got penalized by the way, because we don't have an opened uh, deal for these on-demand flights. And really, really, um, because this is our on-demand station, um, I, mean, I really don't know. I guess we could do another truck. And, and then they would load and unload faster. Cargo story. Yeah, it's four minutes late. It's, it's coming. There it is. There's your 100. There we go. And now that we have more um, fuel trucks, hopefully the, they'll fuel up faster and we'll be able to service more of these. Wow, look at that. Ooh, good. It's just, it's just, there was a backlog there and like they all, they all got done at the exact same time. And then look, with our two, with our two uh, runways here, we're actually kicking these guys off pretty quick now. So this, this number is staying below where it needs to be. That's pretty fantastic. We just need to make sure to stay on top of upgrading our, our facilities so that they're doing their jobs quickly. Not that just they're doing them, like doing them is great, but they need to be done quickly so that we can open up these, these ramps for um, other airplanes. For right now, eventually we're going to be on demand only and, and then we're not going to really care. We have so much money. 
go ahead and get those guys in. So maybe we can get this stuff researched in one day. Saying that our fuel is low, and our fuel is is technically, yeah, 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 it's low. I was to say it's technically low, but it's not that big a deal. It's a big deal because we're 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 gassing up airplanes now that require. I mean, this one's still good at 400, but some of these others out there, I bet they're pushing a thousand already, a thousand gallons for their tanks. Oh, I love seeing that. Love seeing that. They were all taken care of. No one's yelling at anybody, meeting our contractual obligations. Cargo is on the way. Cargo's looking good too. We have four drop offs that we're going to get throughout the day. But cargo is looking good. There's a hundred. So nice. This is really dangerous too, because I'm sure this guy, if he, if he comes up and then turns right and this guy was coming up and turning right, they might hit each other. So I'm sure that they probably ought to have been done where he was, well, then he would be just, uh, leaving it the same way these guys are coming in. So this is just not a safe airport. The layout's bad, but I didn't, I don't have a lot of land here, right? Just imagine how much land, like how big this airport can be can be insane. Look at that. We're at $10,000. Easy. Easy $10,000. So nice. So nice having all this money. Because it just, it puts your head at re, uh, your mind at ease for all the stuff that you have to build and maintain and order. So good. Are we almost over? No, not really. I wonder if I can get away with... And I, I probably need to up these from 100 Just, just, I mean, just more. Starts the day, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock. Those are every th one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the end of the day. Evening, 1800. 1500. We already have one at 1500. 160. We'll just we'll see how 160 goes. I mean that right at night. And the idea is that I can kind of get away with signing it at night because if they're already on the tarmac, then they're they're already here. They have to wait until we go right. So, and we're we're obviously these are the last of the contractual obligated uh airplanes and they're they're ready to rock and roll like they're gonna they're gonna be fine to take off on time it's the on-demand guys who are gonna have to wait until that thing shows up but that's not my fault it's on demand and there they go are you probably oh look they, they everybody got taken care of and it's not even not even closing time, so we probably didn't need that 160. But it's nice to have it. Um, and you and you can save money at the very beginning of the game by making this both departure and uh, recovery. But I, I spent a little bit of extra money at the beginning just because I like to have a flow. Mm, last one of the day, buddy. La you're the last one. Unload his cargo. Start fueling him up. Fueling him up, not filling him up. <laughs> All right. Loading up the cargo he wants. What was that? Nine? Five? Who knows? He's good and happy. We have $12,000 at the end of the day, so let's go ahead and settle our debt. Only three thousand. Uh, don't take out a new loan. We paid off our loan. There we go. $8,000 in the bank. Paid off our loan. And we have uh, three buildings full of clerks. And hit the go button there on that. Oh, that's right. That that package wouldn't have come today. The 160 wouldn't have come today. They come the next day. Anyway, here we go.
it's morning time. Time for our first delivery. And that really should be 160 instead of 100. We have so much room, like it just, it makes sense. We'll go, we'll go through one more day with all those being 100. And if, if we're still having a problem, then we'll, we'll bring them up to 160 each. Look at the shadows. I never noticed a shadow on the side of the hill. I think those are going to go away as the sun rises in this direction and moves across the sky in this direction. So those shadows should vanish. That's really cool. I didn't notice the shadows before. This game has got shading, bro. Oh, oh, are we? It's still nighttime, technically. Can I jump in here right quick and then change those over to what I want to make them 160? Let's, let's sign the new contract for 160 at 9. And let's see if it'll be like, it'll come today. Delivery will be executed on the next day. So yeah, it doesn't. All right. Even though it was still nighttime, but whatever. Oh, I guess there was a plane on approach. So I guess we'd already started. And no new contracts, right? No new contracts. Usually it does a really good job of like, uh, of showing you like, hey, you got, and the red, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. See, this is what's weird. Stop, stop the presses. We stopped, we're stopped. Look, it says we're only meeting seven out of eight, right? Seven out of eight or seven out of 10. Like we're not, we're not meeting all of them. Oh, renegotiate. What the crap is renegotiate? What does renegotiate mean? What does that mean? Available flights. I can't click on available flights. I can't click on available flights. So the, what I'm, my point is, I I feel like when it says like tier two, like to go to tier three, you have to service all of the flights that they want you to service. And if you don't, then you never, you never move up. You never move up to the, I got I got to stop the video anyway, but you don't move up to like tier three and we're not servicing all these flights from this guy. We, I can't click on available flights. So it's not like that there are flights available. I just can't click on them. This one, am I not, is it not scheduled? It's not scheduled. Why is it not scheduled? What are we doing? What are we doing? Why aren't we scheduled? Why aren't we scheduled? That doesn't make any sense. What they were down here at 20. I turned off 20. I turned off 20 so they could try to upgrade it because I thought we had because I thought we had the tarmac technology. And when I turned it off, it kicked out it kicked out their flights. Now I'm servicing all their flights. Oh my goodness. That's what happened in my other game is I upgraded all of my stuff and it kicked out their flights. And then I kept, Ooh, Ooh, I'm so happy. I discovered that right now, this moment, very, very happy that I discovered that actually, I want to pull those back down here, please. And thank you. I like that that one side is like my on my scheduled flights. And I like that the other side is the on demand side. Oof. Oh, oh, geez, man. Jeez. Uh, I don't want to screw this up. All right. 10 out of 10, 8 out of 8, 4 out of 4, 11. Okay, good, good, good. Makes sense. So the first ones who are going to be upgraded, the tarmac are these jokers are going to be Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Those are the ones that are going to. So two through eight will be the first upgraded tarmac. Whew. Now we don't have to worry about changing their deals. Anyway, that's it. The day has just started. We're going to say goodbye. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And if you have a moment, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.